each eco server has a setting that largely dictates the user experience, and it's called collaboration. In short, a high collaboration setting means you're going to rely heavily on other players on the server to create the products you need to do your skill. Low collaboration means that you'll largely be able to create everything you need with minimal reliance to other players. But this basic definition doesn't necessarily have the result you think it would. So I'm going to talk about how high collaboration actually plays out on the ground for your economic gameplay. So in the intro, I gave this very basic definition of what's meant by high and low collaboration. But how is this difference in collaboration actually achieved in the game? Each player accumulates skill points that contributes to earning stars in the game. Each star you earn allows you to select a specialty, which I'm going to refer to somewhat inaccurately in game terms as just general skills or professions. The rate at which you earn skill points for a star is influenced by how fancy your house is and how well you're eating, mainly. Now, these skills are a primary driver behind the game's economics. And the economic aspect is one of the main reasons why people play eco. Many games have this concept where players specialize in a skill to craft something that's then used by other players with different skills. But eco is absolutely next level in this concept. There are 30 of these skill specialties. This is an important number in this high and low collaboration concept. That's a lot of skills to begin with. Add to that a lot of different products that are produced by each skill and a lot of cross dependencies of products from each skill and you start to create a web of economic complexity. So what do I mean by that? An example is this. For me to make a certain boat as a shipwright, I need hemp rope, among other things. A person with the tailoring skill makes hemp rope. The tailor has to buy the prepared flax from a gatherer, who not only is best at harvesting flax, but has the skill to take the raw flax from the field and shred it into fibers. The gatherer, though, has to buy flax seeds from a farmer to plant his fields to get the flax. So you get the picture. Most everything you craft in the game requires these long and often complex production chains which uses the skills people learn by expending one of their stars I talked about at the beginning. So with that as the backdrop, let me talk more about this high and low collaboration. Now, you might think with low collaboration, you'd be able to get the products you need to build your stuff a lot easier. If you don't have the product you need, you spend one of your earned stars to learn the skill and make it. The rate at which stars are earned does dwindle with each earned star, but it's not that hard to earn four or five stars in just a couple of weeks with low collaboration. This collaboration setting is something admins of the server establish and can either be very fast or very slow and basically dictates how fast you earn your stars. This idea though that it'll be easier to get everything you need with low collaboration is not necessarily true. What I've witnessed is an interesting phenomenon and is what sparked this video. Right now, I'm playing a version 10 test server set up by DadSpeed. We're just giving version 10 a quick shakedown to help look for bugs or things that may need tuning to support a long playthrough. To just get through the skills and see everything, the test server is on a very low collaboration setting. So everyone is earning stars at an incredible rate and taking lots of skills. With everyone having so many skills and being able to produce their own products much easier, I expected there to be tons of product on the market. People would be selling all kinds of items. If there was some ingredient I needed that I didn't directly have the skill for, there'd be a half a dozen other folks offering it for sale because so many people would have the skill, probably even someone close to me. But that hasn't been the case. In fact, I've seen a lot more shortages of items in the low collaboration server than in the normal dad speed extremely high collaboration server, where folks spend at least a month having just one skill, 
and then only being able to earn just one second skill, making the number of people that can produce an item much, much smaller. However, this high collaboration limitation of stars and skills is exactly why there's rarely a shortage of items. Let me explain. What I've observed is that when you have only one skill, maybe two, that's all you have to work with. Selling the items that your one skill produces is your only source of income, so you produce everything your skill allows. As you increase proficiency in a skill, you level up and unlock more items you can create, but it's a relatively short list. And because the levels open up rather gradually, it gives the player time to adjust, expand their workshop and stockpile capacity, and adequately handle the production of everything their skill allows. This essentially means everyone is selling everything. And just like leveling up a skill, all 30 skills are not available at the beginning. They unlock gradually, and players will often gravitate to a newly available skill, or skill where very few other players have taken it, because there's less competition for that skill and its products. Every skill is taken, and everyone is producing everything they can and selling it on the open market, because that's all they have to work with. So there's rarely a shortage of what you need, I've really scratched my head over there being a significant shortage of products in a low collaboration server. But experiencing it myself, seeing what other players are doing, and reading both a lot of in-game and Discord chats, has really led me to debunk this myth. That low collaboration means you have everything you need more readily available. It's just not true. It is true that some, or maybe the most needed ingredients, are self-produced, but these production chains I described are so long and so complex, unless everyone is producing everything from their skill, critical items in those chains can get overlooked and leave folks wanting. A given player might be producing what they need from a skill for themselves, but may not be giving any attention to the other items needed by other players. It's not necessarily intentional, it's just not what they're focused on and why they took that skill. I think there's also an input overload factor, in that with four or five skills, or maybe even just three skills, it's very hard to keep track of all the things each skill can produce and trying to keep a stock of all those items available on the market. It's just a lot. This revelation that limiting the skills with high collaboration results in more available product was mind-blowing. It isn't what you'd expect at all, and I've played on several high collaboration servers before, but never really paid attention to these subtle inner workings. Higher collaboration seems to mean higher availability. But there is a caveat. There needs to be a kind of minimum population for this to be true. Dad Speed has become extremely popular, and I know as soon as I make the announcement that version 10 is going live, we'll have 100 active people by the second day, and still over 60 in the second month from time zones all over the world. It's always this amazing flurry of activity. And there's a lucky winner of the giveaway that can join this mayhem. Congratulations, Gaming Craft Team. To redeem your prize, just send me an email to my business email you'll find on my channel's homepage. After that, you'll get set up with a game key and be playing Eco in no time. I've got a lot more content planned with a deep dive on boats and the shipwright skill, small but influential changes to the game, hopefully settlements, and I've been working on an unrelated video for Star Citizen and Janalite. There's a lot of gaming to do and just not enough time to do it all. So stay tuned, and I'll be talking to you later.